The F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the oldest fighter designs still in production anywhere in the world today, with the aircraft first joining the US Air Force over 40 years ago, in 1978, after being designed as a lighter and cheaper counterpart to the elite F-15 Eagle jet. The F-16 was the most widely produced fighter of the fourth generation, due largely to the cutting short of large-scale production of its Soviet rival the MiG-29, due to the state's collapse in 1991. The aircraft began production in 1973 and saw over 4,600 airframes leave production lines by the end of 2020. Despite its age, the latest variant of the F-16, the F-16V, has been extremely costly, with their price notably higher than and widely compared to that of Russian Su-35 heavyweight jets imported by China due to Taiwan being F-16V's leading client. Despite the Su-35 being a much heavier and more modern 4++ generation design with almost three times the engine power of the F-16V, the light American jet notably costs approximately 50% more per unit. This high cost has a number of causes, including the integration of modern avionics, electronic warfare systems, sensors and armaments, decades ahead of the original 1970s F-16 in sophistication, as well as questions regarding the efficiency of production. The F-16V, the only variant of the Fighting Falcon currently in production, has seen only limited foreign interest, with Bahrain and Slovakia purchasing 16 and 14 respectively. The only major sale was to Taiwan, which ordered 66 just under a contract valued at over $8 billion in 2019. While the F-16V is effectively obsolete compared to modern Chinese fighters deployed across the Taiwan Strait, it was chosen due to the US decision to deny Taiwan access to its fifth-generation successor, the F-35. The US has relied heavily on diplomatic pressure targeting countries such as Bulgaria to purchase new fighters, although prospects for major further sales remain slim, given the age and expense of the design and the existence of much more cost-effective competitors, the F-35 being one of the foremost among them. In September 2020 the executive vice president of aeronautics of the F-16's producer Lockheed Martin, Michelle A. Evans, expressed hopes that the fighter program would pass the mark of 5,000 fighters produced, meaning over 350 more would need to be sold. She highlighted that the F-16V could be marketed on the basis that it would potentially allow clients to purchase F-35s in future, much as was done with Taiwan, which would have preferred to move straight to the F-35 if permitted to do so. The US Air Force is not expected to place any further orders, as it already fields a very large number of the jets which are being upgraded to the F-16V standard and is increasingly transitioning towards the F-35A. With the aircraft increasingly being referred to as obsolete by officials countries such as Singapore and even the US itself, prospects for sales to first world clients beyond Taiwan remain slim. At a time when the US Air Force is flying its fighting Falcons unmanned and shooting them down as disposable targets, the prospect of paying tens of millions of dollars for a design which has seen few changes to its airframe, with the same old F-110 engine and high radar cross-section, is far from attractive for potential operators. It is notable that other fourth-generation designs still in production today from the Cold War period, such as the MiG-29 or the Su-27 with the latter today being produced as the enhanced Su-35 derivative, have seen installment of new more powerful and longer-lasting engines, and often reductions to their radar cross-sections. The F-16 has seen no such improvements which seriously limits its performance despite upgrades to its avionics under the F-16V design. The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force USAF. Designed as an air superiority day fighter, it evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,600 aircraft have been built since production was approved in 1976. Although no longer being purchased by the US Air Force, improved versions are being built for export customers.
In 1993, General Dynamics sold its aircraft manufacturing business to the Lockheed Corporation, which in turn became part of Lockheed Martin after a 1995 merger with Martin Marietta. The Fighting Falcon's key features include a frameless bubble canopy for better visibility, side-mounted control stick to ease control while maneuvering, an ejection seat reclined 30 degrees from vertical to reduce the effect of G-forces on the pilot, and the first use of a relaxed static stability fly-by-wire flight control system that helps to make it an agile aircraft. The F-16 has an internal M61 Vulcan cannon and 11 locations for mounting weapons and other mission equipment. The F-16's official name is Fighting Falcon, but Viper is commonly used by its pilots and crews due to a perceived resemblance to a Viper snake, as well as the colonial Viper Starfighter on Battlestar Galactica, which aired at the time the F-16 entered service. In addition to active duty in the U.S. Air Force, Air Force Reserve Command, and Air National Guard units, the aircraft is also used by the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds Aerial Demonstration Team and as an adversary aggressor aircraft by the United States Navy. The F-16 has also been procured to serve in the Air Forces of 25 other nations. As of 2015, it is the world's most numerous fixed-wing aircraft and military service.